assume you're all here to learn about how Frank's Hacker works. And it could be a very complicated piece of software, but if you know how to set it up and you know how to get through to it, um, it works great. Now, unfortunately, part of the issue here was that up to today, there's been a lot of things getting in my way, and I haven't had enough time to put together a lot of the slides. Like, my slide deck has five things on it, and then the rest of it I'm going to be adding in the room. So the workshop segment is probably going to start a lot earlier than expected, and but I'll be sticking around and helping you guys out, and if anyone has any questions, I'll be here. Check, check, one, two. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, no, it's just that, uh, yeah, it was set up for, uh, idle, so. Alright. Anyway, moving right along. So, here we go. So, the first thing I want to get down to is... what we're doing here. And now, mind you, this isn't exactly a starting from scratch kind of uh, chip tune boot camp, uh, but you'll be entertained at least, I hope, and you'll know what makes a chip tune's tip by the end. Uh, spoiler alert, it's a 1.9 megahertz clock and a deep bank interrupt. Anyway, I'll be here at the end to give constructive criticism, help with anything, not everything, but Definitely everything on Candy Cracker related, and I'm probably going to be here all night, considering, yeah. Considering that the uh, slide deck kind of crashed in the middle of everything, so, right. And we have a community online, I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um... Pemi Tracker has a lot of users and a lot of people who are more than willing to help you get started and uh, learn about the basics of the software and more advanced techniques. So you don't need to understand all the hardcore, uh, weird, you know, if you don't know what a Locrian mode is, that's, uh, fortunately we're not covering that. So, yeah. Um... Anyway, first things second. Uh, so, I'm the uh, founder of FamilyTracker.org, and it's a rather nice place that, over the years, had been kind of fallen into disrepair before I got a hold of it. And yeah, basically, we're trying to become the hub for the Family Tracker community as it stands, and. So far we've been doing a good job. We have a Discord and uh, a website that, uh, well, just three days ago I put the new website in place because there was a database error because the old maintainer had, that's one of the reasons that my slide deck is half of what it's supposed to be. So I also uh, am one of the founding members of DEFCON 201 which is a local DEF CON group in New Jersey. And it's one of the things that uh, keeps me busy. Uh, we do a lot of uh, helping out in the community. We talk with the uh, local government of Jersey City, and it's, it's working out pretty good. And I'm also the founder of Switch Root, which is a group that uh, we ported Linux to the Nintendo Switch. Long story short, and I did my taxes on that switch. Yeah, and I think I have a screenshot here. If I can just pop it on the screen, I did. I, I had exactly leaked dollars on my tax return that year. So, yeah. Oh, this is the front page of. Uh, I guess that's videos. No. This is actually the history of all the Family Tracker revisions on Hertz Devil's GitHub. I just happen to have it in another tab. So basically, 
the genealogy of Manny Tracker goes back a lot, back a ways, and uh, the original maintainer quit maintaining it. And because of that, there had been a lot of other people. Uh... Okay. Okay. Anyway, so the uh, another neat thing is that running Linux on the switch is the only way to run anything homebrew on it without breaking the law. Because in order to run most homebrew, you have to break their cryptographical uh, protection measures and get your own code to run on it, which the MCA doesn't really shine favorably on that. We just run everything before any of those protection measures are in place from the bootloader because there was a big vulnerability about that. Cool. But that's all beside the point. I am uh, Cyrusil, Cyrusil, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Discord, wherever uh, great books are sold, I guess. So, Hermit Tracker is a... Uh, it has a storied history. It began in 2003 as an open source program. And being that it's free software, people took the liberty to literally to contribute to the source code. And unfortunately, this program was very feature incomplete and it would it had a lot of problems and a lot of people like to fix it and up until 2000 I want to say 2012 people were contributing and those contributions were taken upstream and Panda Tracker by itself the original source tree was improved upon greatly unfortunately uh, JSR the original maintainer kind of fell off the face of the earth as far as Panda Tracker was concerned like I guess he still pays for the domain name for PandaTracker.com the original website, but and so people continued to improve on it in his absence, in their own source trees. So because of this, we have a bunch of different versions of Family Tracker. There's F F T uh, zero C C F T J zero C C F T S Nevin Tracker, and yeah, it it goes on and on. And long story short. Throw it all away. Just use JOCC Family Tracker. It's the standard. Now, normally I would continue on with this presentation, but uh, yeah, oops, this is where it got cut off. The file got corrupted on my other machine, and through a combination of being in New Jersey while my computer was in Long Island. Among other things, there were there was no way to recover it in time for Mac OS. So, bah, bah, bah. with that said, um, I will be going around and uh, showing people how to use Family Tracker, and I will be putting up on the screen a few examples of rather interesting Family Tracker tracks. And hopefully, we can get through this quickly and. While I'm finding the files, you can try it out for yourself, and if you have any questions, just raise your hand and ask away. All right. Um, go ahead. Actually, bring it and come up to the uh, microphone and take the floor. Yeah, so we are streaming and recording, and that is kind of a, it's kind of essential to be on the mic, so here we go. Tomorrow night, at, well, afternoon at about four, in the room, well, not the room right next to here where everyone's fixing cosplay things, but further over in the demo scene room, uh, there will be a beginner tracker workshop done by Ace Man. Uh, specific focus on Genesis, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy. Uh, then, exactly 24 hours later, he's doing an intermediate advanced version. So, 
Uh, I, I, my eyes perked up because you mentioned this is not a beginner panel, but it kind of is. I mean, it's, it's, it's a learning workshop. Um, so if you'd like a more, uh, you know, presented to you beginner workshop, uh, Ace Man's will focus on those three systems for hour four, and then you'll get intermediate advanced 24 hours later in between those two at midnight tomorrow night. Uh, so in, you know, 26 hours or so, uh, there is a one hour competition, which is basically what, the, what skills you gather today and also tomorrow if you attend that panel. You can apply to writing four channel music in a music tracker at midnight. There is no evident winner in this competition. It's really just to kind of get your juices flowing uh, and get you to write music and have fun. Uh, some people use it as an excuse to get uh, insanely drunk and see what kind of music they can get past uh, their inhibition filter. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend that, but uh, it tends to happen on IRC. So uh, if you've ever heard of Quack Fest, uh, we're, we're going to kind of run it like that. Uh, where everyone submits their one-hour competition thing. We're going to listen in alphabetical order after every, everything is over and just laugh and chat and have a good time. So uh, if you want to come to any of those, that would be pretty awesome. If, this is, if you want to find out this is your jam and you want to learn more. Thanks. So now I'm just going to uh, and hopefully I should be able to put my computer up on the screen wirelessly so I can actually see what I'm doing as I walk around and help people. So. And there we go. So, let me pull down some examples of the uh, kind of track of music that may be particularly interesting. So first, I'll start off with the uh, CamerTracker.org Discord server. So when you visit the uh, website, okay, this thing over here. This is what you see, and it's uh, you know rather basic because our forum wiki blog are still offline. But right down here we have a link for the Discord server. Click that and that gives you an invite to join our uh, community here. And when you join, the first thing you will see is this massive welcome page. Um, there's a few rules to follow, but they're nothing major. 
we get to that call center. And yeah, basically DBAD. And um, here we have the workshop channel, and this is where people generally post their own uh, family tracker works and get criticism and uh, compliments on it sometimes, even. Um, yeah, at least. But I think my signal is dying. Yep, uh, my computer had disconnected from the projector. Cool. Technical difficulties. Well, um, yeah. The, uh, the server has a number of channels which you can, uh, discuss family tracker and stuff, and I would say it's probably the most useful resource if you want to learn how to use family tracker at the moment. Because unfortunately, I'm not being very useful with uh, what with my slides having been destroyed. Um, regardless, I think that it is probably time to transition over to the um, workshop side of things. So I'll be going around helping people out. If anyone else wants to, you know, help out, if anyone knows what they're doing, uh, be free to help. Thank you.